Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to the next question. So we have the limit as x approaches zero of one over two x plus x squared minus one over two x. So notice we can't plug in zero for x because notice this whole denominator is gonna be zero and this denominator is gonna be zero. So we're gonna have to find another method. And I'm actually gonna show you two methods to do this. The first one's gonna be a little bit more intuitive and uh, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more algebra. Second method's gonna be a little less intuitive, but less algebra. So first method, what we can do is we could just combine these two fractions. So notice that to combine them, we gotta get a common denominator because we're subtracting two fractions. So what we can do, we can multiply this by two x, multiply this top by two x, then we can multiply this by 2x plus x squared, and then multiply this top by 2x plus x squared. So we'll end up having limit as x approaches zero of 2x up top minus one times this entire expression. So we gotta subtract that entire expression, keep it in brackets. This bracket is crucial right there because um, we're subtracting that whole numerator. So you gotta subtract that entire expression. If you didn't put a bracket here, then you wouldn't be distributing the negative to the x squared, and you have to distribute the negative to that x squared. And so this is gonna be all over. We combine these, because we got a common denominator now, so we'll have two x times two x plus x squared at the, uh, at the bottom. And now what we'll do is let's simplify all of this. So we got the limit as x approaches zero. If we distribute this negative inside, notice that two x minus two x, those net out to zero, and then we'll have minus x squared. All over, if we distribute this two x in the bracket, uh, we'll end up with four x squared plus two x cubed, like that. And then notice from here, what we can do is we can actually factor that denominator. You know what, I, I just realized I kind of expand it and then I factored again. I'm gonna show you what you could have done here up top instead. But uh, if we factor out, uh, the greatest common factor here is two x squared from here. So this would be uh, two plus x, right? Because four x squared divided by two x squared is two. 2x cubed divided by 2x squared is just x. Now up here, what we could have done, I should have noticed this, is we could have just took out an x from both of these. So if we took out that x, we'd end up with 2x squared in front and we'd have two plus x. All right, so I kind of did like an extra step. I expanded and then I factored when I could have just factored right there. But anyway, not too big of a deal. The most important part is notice now that this x squared can cancel out in the denominator, right? And then we're just left with negative one up top. So now we could plug in zero for x and we'd end up having negative one over two plus zero is two times two, four. Negative one over four. That ends up being the answer to this, uh, this limit. So that is one way of doing it. Now another way of doing it a little less intuitive, but what we can do, let's, let me just rewrite this again, 2x plus x squared minus one over two x, is um, we can factor out a one over x from both of these. So what I can do here is I can take out an x so this would be two plus x minus one over two x. And then what I could do is I could take out this x from both of these expressions. So that would be, I could take out a one over x. So it would be like one over x. And then in brackets, we'd have one over two plus x minus one over two. Okay, this and all of this is the exact same thing. I just took out that one over x. So a little tougher to see, but now we don't have to deal with like this x squared 
and stuff. So what we can do is we could just combine these two fractions. We gotta multiply this by two, multiply the top by two, multiply this by two plus x, multiply the top by two plus x. And so we'd have the limit as x approaches zero of one over x. And then in this bracket, we'd have two minus two plus x over two bracket two plus x. And then what's gonna happen here, distribute this negative inside, two minus two is zero, and then we'll have this negative x left up top. And now notice that this x and that x cancel out. And now we could plug in zero for x, uh, two times two, that gives us four, and then we got negative one times one, which gives us negative one over four, which is the exact same answer we got here. So a little less intuitive, kind of tougher to see that you could take out that one over x from both of these, especially because you first have to factor it from this, and then you could factor it from these two. Uh, but then I feel like simplifying this is uh, easier than simplifying that. But either way, whichever way you decide to go, answer is negative one over four.